I must find the perfect spoon. Excuse me, I need a spoon. My spoon is too big. Spoon with me, dude! Hi, welcome back to the Little Spoon Snatchers. Here is episode three, Revenge of the Fork. I'm Sam, <laughs> this is Skip, and that's Logan. And we've got a jam-packed episode here for you guys today. How y'all doing today, huh? Oh, you know, I was doing great until you said Revenge of the Fork. <laughs> yeah, we didn't we didn't discuss that. Well, I guess what? It was great, and I loved it. <laughs> uh, I guess it was pretty great. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm good. How you been, Sam? I'm, I'm fantastic. Except for today, actually it happened last night. We, uh, I was, I was showering, right? And I didn't have any bars of soap and where we ran out. So I, I scurried out into my hallway. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? I, I'm just interested where this story is going. Yeah, well, I scurried out in my hallway and there was this, only this one huge bar. Like I'm talking like this giant brick of a bar. It's like Duke Cannon. Have you guys ever heard of that? No. Well, nope. I, I don't know. Duke Cannon is a pumpkin spice latte. Man, it like it was a journey to use it. Then this morning, when I was showering, I went to go use it, and the thing was just stuck to my like. I, it was just stuck. I was literally pressing against the bar of soap and the outside of my shower, like, and I finally got it off. So I'm all squeaky clean, like a pumpkin latte. I was wondering what that smell was. Right? And I'm <laughs> yeah. glad. I'm glad to know. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's not what I thought. That was gonna go to. I, I thought. Listen, whenever a story starts with, uh, I was in the shower. It's always, I, I, you never know where it's gonna go. You guys have dirty minds. A lot of twists and turns. How was South Carolina? It was good. Yeah, I went to uh, City of Dreams, Columbia. Um, went to a South Carolina football game versus Vanderbilt. It was electric. Came down to the wire. Uh, touchdown at the end. Game Crocs won. Pretty fun. Um, always good to go down there visit Kels. Um, and yeah, it was a really good time. Love to hear it. I don't got any cool stories. I didn't go to South Carolina or take, I guess I did take a shower, but. <laughs> oh, no, you did yeah. take a shower? <laughs> <laughs> Before we get into uh, the first segment, that is cream of the crop, uh, we just wanted to give a huge thank you to Vintitude on Instagram for our official Little Spoon Snatchers logo. What was this comment about? Well, Avengers who? Uh, yeah. It's kind of ironic that our cream of the crop is uh, superheroes. Yeah. And we yeah. are the superheroes. The little spoon snatchers, baby. Absolutely. That's such, that's such, I, mean, I still like, I can't get over how awesome that logo is. It's I love it so much. He did such a good job. He I really do love that logo yeah. so much. Um, But yeah, like you said, I mean, the Avengers got nothing on the little spoon snatchers. Yeah, and yeah. today we're going to be ranking in our cream of the crop. Our top five superheroes. What do we got? Sam, I, I, let's just get rolling with it. What do you got? Start us off. You want to go with me first? Yeah, All right. we'll go. So <clears throat> I'm not a really huge comic book fan. So I never really like why I read comic books. But most of my like knowledge upon superheroes come from like watching movies and mm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, playing the video games and things like that. But <clears throat> we're gonna roll into it. I also, another little quick tidbit about my list. I tried to stay, like, tried to not jam pack it with like Marvel and DC Universe uh, characters. But we'll go with number five. And I went with Obi-Wan Kenobi mm. from Star Wars. Mm, interesting. He, yeah. to me, is a top five super, a superhero. Because, <clears throat> I mean, if you look at all of the Jedis, and the Jedis are the good guys, because obviously they brainwash, the, the Siths brainwash everybody and turns them all evil, aka Darth Vader. Obi Wan is always like the leader who is always leading for the good mm. in every, almost every suit or every Star Wars movie. I keep jumbling my words. My bad. <clears throat> but then he also, when like later on in episode, I think it was five. He starts uh, leading Luke to be a Jedi Master. <clears throat> I was going to go with Luke, but I'm more of a fan of a blue lightsaber than I am. Mm -hmm. It was the green. color? Oh, yeah. there it is. Yeah. I've only seen the first one. A New I, Hope. So, Like, isn't, like, the, uh, the first one as a Phantom Menace or the first no, one as, like... A new, the New Hope. So, four. 
Yeah, the first one ever made. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, not not in the sequence. Just yeah, yeah a new hope. So you've heard, yeah, okay. Yeah, I've seen... I, yeah, I'm not a big fan of Darth Vader, but I really like uh, Anakin. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Annie, yeah. Yeah. I like yeah. Annie better. Annie, yeah. <laughs> Annie gets all the women. Two, who who would win in a fight between Darth Vader and Anakin? <laughs> I mean, that's a toss up. <laughs> really? Yeah, I mean, I don't really know. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, and then another thing I took into account for my list was <clears throat> like. If the superhero died, like, mm. was it a meaningful, memorable death? Mm. And Obi Wan, when he died, man, hit you right in the heart. Sure. Watched his old friend take him out. Spoiler. Spoiler. Dude, I mean, it's been out watch for it. a while. Yeah, that one's been out for a long time. <laughs> um, I'll say. I, I mean, I'll, I'll say it. I when I was putting my list together, I didn't even think about going. Star Wars mm. didn't even cross my mind. Well, they're heroes. Me neither. Superheroes, actually. I guess they're super. They're heroes. I guess it works. Like Maybe they got the Jedi mind control. Oh, huh. I guess it works. But yeah, good pick. Good pick. Uh, kind of out of left field, but I like it. I, yeah. I'm a fan. That's what we do here for buddy. for my list. Mm -hmm. Um, I went with again. I'm not. I'm also not a big comic book guy. I don't read a lot of the comics. Actually, I don't think I've ever read a comic let alone a book, but <laughs> um, for me, I went with what I see on TV, what I see in the movies and how much, you know, just how great the actor is, how great, like how funny or how relatable or how like just how awesome they are on the screen, mm -hmm. as well as how much I personally would want to have their powers. That's a very good. Mm, those yeah. were my two yeah. pillars. Sure. Um, so my first list, and this uh, th this is why he's five, is Star Lord. Put him at five. Nice. He, uh, you know, good old Peter Quill. Yeah. Um, he's technically, I mean, technically he does have powers, but what I like most about him is that he really is just a human. Mm. And I mean, you find out like no spoilers, but like <laughs> he does have powers, and he is more. He is a super human, a superhero, but like. I like it when my superheroes are vulnerable, I guess is a good word. Sure. When they can die is good. I remember as a little kid, I watched this movie scene of Superman who uh, he was walking towards this guy and he had a gun pointed at him and he shot him and you see the bullet go at Superman, hits him right in the eyeball and he doesn't even blink. Sure. I remember that scene as a kid and I sat there thinking, that is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. I want bullets to hurt my superheroes. <laughs> I I don't like the like like literally can't hurt this person. I like to see my superheroes have to actually fight and be scared of dying mm. and getting hurt. So that's why Peter. I mean, yeah, Star Lord Peter Quill. That's why he's number five for me. I like that pick. Um, I have it in my honorable mentions, Good and it's you. because of uh, Chris Pratt is hilarious. Chris Pratt does the does. It does the character so good, does mm -hmm. it justice. I mean, I love, I love Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt is very, it's very good, and those movies are so fantastic. <laughs> They're awesome. Um, yeah, I'll preface by saying I don't really uh, read comics. I actually have some comics, um, but yeah, I never really read the comics. So I'm basing it off movie too, and also um, how cool I think the powers are. And like you, Sam, I didn't just stick to DC and Marvel. I kind of went a little bit outside, and my number it. five is also outside of that realm. It is Beast Boy from Teen Titans. I mean, oh. it's still technically DC, but... Oh, are they DC? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually, I have some other ones that I know are not. Okay. Um, but... Just not, he just had one. Actually, I have, I have one that I know is not, actually. <laughs> no, um, but no. I went to, I didn't know they were DC, but yeah, I went Beast Boy. Um, I, I, for one, I love the color green, so, I mean, he's cool. Um, and also, he can turn into any animal. That, that is... Such a sick superpower. I love animals. Turning into yeah. anything you want. Like, it, that's so cool, man. You can do so many things. Um, so yeah, I, I went with Teen Titans Beast Boy for that. And <laughs> uh, we're going to number four, actually, which is uh, <laughs> another big green guy. Uh, it's the Incredible Hulk. Oh, mm -hmm. God, um, I love it. I, I love the Hulk. Um, I just think he's so cool. Um, sometimes seems overpowered. Like when he, just the CGI in the movies is so sick. Like he's just so ripped and so big. Um, I love, he can jump super high. Like bullets can't really affect him, but 
Um, like you said, I like how he can go out of it and sort of um, be a vulnerable person. Mm -hmm. um, it's not like he's the Hulk all the time. So, I mean, that kind of relates probably to Beast Boy as well. Um, why I like both of them. But yeah, I guess uh, I like uh, green people. You just like, <laughs> yeah, you, you're just a fan of the green, uh, the green superheroes. Uh, yeah, but super muscular guy. Super cool. What, um, so in the, the Marvel movies, did you like the Hulk or did you like smart Bruce Banner. glasses? He knows oh, oh, no, I'm talking like when, when he, in Avengers, when he's like, he's stuck like that, but he's, when he's stuck but he's like still that, but he's oh, still smart. Who is your favorite Hulk? I, I like when he's controllable. When so, he's, so when he's like the super smart Bruce Banner and can actually talk and isn't just in a roid rage. Mm -hmm. I, I like that. I think a little bit more. I don't know. So that, I, so I that like way, Rage Hall. So that too. way, so that way, he is. It's more like I don't know. It's more controlled, and I would want that power. Yeah, I would want that more than just uncontrollable rage. And then when when he's able to control it and go into it whenever he wants, that that's probably the more I'm talking about. Um, just because, just when you get mad, like mm. you can destroy a lot of things. So there's a little bit of I mean, hesitancy on that, but. Yeah. Look in all the Avengers movies when they're that, having the big fight in the cities. Dude's just running through buildings, doesn't care. I love it. It's the best. No, yeah, it is so fun. When he's, so uh, especially the scene with Loki. He's just throwing him around like a rag. <laughs> God, <laughs> yeah. that awesome. is that is so funny. Uh, but yeah, those are so two two uh, green guys. Two quality to start. picks. Two quality picks. Um, I'm gonna go stick in Marvel here. I'm gonna go with um, Ant Man. Going with Scott Lang. Mm. Guys, this dude, first off, I'm going to be honest. The main reason is because I love Paul Rudd. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the number Paul one reason. So He's so funny. But um, could you imagine having that power, just being able to be super tiny or be super big? Like, he gets to pick his own size. I, I've always, like, I've always wanted to, like, be able to shrink down super small. I thought that would be pretty cool, like, to just do that and to see the world from a different point of view. But, um I don't know. He well, first off, he's just so funny in the movies. Yeah. The funniest character in the in the whole series by far. But not only that, he's just. You disagree? That's. Uh, uh, yeah, I that's, think I disagree. Listen, you. He's funny, but I also if I'm disagreeing, I, I'm also I'm not sure because I don't know if he's a, the guy that I'm thinking of is a part of the series. All uh, right. I think Welcome. I know who you're thinking of. I think he's coming up on my list in a little bit. We'll get to him. But <laughs> um, I, I just love Ant-Man. I wish I could shrink down and be super small. And yeah, that's who I'm going with. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. So my number four, not DC or Marvel. I kind of collected them as a group, but if we're going to make me signify one guy, I have it. But The Incredibles. Okay. I mm. One, I loved the movie when I was a kid. And I loved it even more as a 20-year-old when it came out, the second one. Had that long way just made me love it. But, uh, yeah, they're all four or there are five of them because of the baby. The baby. baby is sweet. Yeah. So, I will say Jack-Jack is on my honorable mention. I love I, it. I will say uh, technically not, but Frozone is on my honorable mention. Oh, dude, all so sweet. <laughs> well, I, let's see, we all picked three different ones because I picked Dash. I remember when he was a little kid and like in the high school or whatever, he would just be sitting there and like there's a tack on the yeah, 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 <laughs> teacher. Yeah. That, that's awesome. Oh, those that movie alone is amazing. When yeah. uh, Mr. Incredible picks up the car and the little kid's got that bubble. He's on the toys. <laughs> was it? What do you want? And then he's <laughs> totally wicked. Who did I watch the second one with? I think it was. Was not me. It, it was, was me, me then. It was one of you because two. we. I went. I went and saw it in theaters. I yeah, was so excited so for it because I was yeah, such a big fan when it was. I think it was me, you, and Megan that went. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. I remember going to see the second. I liked the first one better, but the second one was good. There. I mean, like like I said, I put them all on the list because they're all. Incredible. Mm -hmm. I love. Them. They're Mister. Incre they're, they're incredible. There, there was a there was a thing I saw and it was um, talking about the kids and they were like, um, Jack Jack is named Jack Jack because he's a jack of all trades and. 
Violet's name is Violet because she can turn invisible and it's like ultraviolet rays mm -hmm. and stuff. And somebody wrote that and then it was like a tweet and then somebody commented and he's like, you're going to lose your mind when I tell you about Dash. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> it's such a funny thing. It's like, uh, wait till I tell you uh, about Dash, why Dash's name is Dash. Um, <laughs> man, that's so funny. I, that's cool that we all picked up. Uh, yeah, I know all three of us had one. Yeah, right. that, that, I, this is a little off topic, but I want to bring it up now. I was going to bring it up at the end. So... When I was running through my list with Lily, she brought up that my number one should be Underdog. I'm assuming Underdog isn't on any of your lists. Mm -hmm. He's the dog superhero from the Disney movie. And we had the argument, since Marvel is owned by Disney, was is Underdog a part of the MCU? And would he have been affected by Thanos' snap? And with that, what about the Incredibles? Because they're also owned by Disney. Why were the Incredibles not fighting Thanos? And who died in the snap? Mm. That's fair. That's my question. Which which of the Incredibles got snapped away during the snap? Because they're part they're part Disney. Marvel's owned by Disney. They're in the MCU. Wow. And I refuse to believe that. Same with Star Wars. They're owned by Disney. Did Obi Wan Kenobi wow, get snapped dude. away? I mean, in the movie where he died, he definitely just vanishes. Wow, you're picking nothing but Marvel and DC. No, you're all Disney. Me. <laughs> I think I think number three is fine. Uh, I think we're really <laughs> Am I number three? Yeah. Yeah, you're number three. Yeah, yeah. I'm taking it all the way back to my childhood for this one. <clears throat> From the first movie, not the, the TV shows. and the, Oh, dang. They are definitely part of Disney. <laughs> <laughs> but, Disney uh, boy. From the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the blue one. They, I, I'm uh, all the way back from the first episode, or first, not episode, but the first movie. And the Mighty Morphin when they had to fight the Ooze and he was uh, Triceratops was his. Oh, I loved the dinosaur ones. Yeah, yeah. When that dinosaur uh, season, whenever they yep. did that. And they were like, bam. I, I don't know. I've just have always yeah. been a huge Power Rangers nut. When they had, I think that not too long ago, they had a new movie come yeah. out. And yeah. I went and seen that one in the uh, theaters. But it just brings, I love it. I mean, Power Rangers to me brings back so much nostalgia and it's so fun. And <clears throat> I'm, a blue fan, so yeah, I think I like the blue as well. Yeah, if I had to pick. I think for the girls, I would probably pick pink. Yeah, for sure, pink. Yeah, yeah. that's a good pick. Um, I never interesting pick. I never watched the Power Rangers. Wow, never. Unfortunate for you. Wow. wow. Funny story is, I've always been a huge Power Rangers fan. Like I said, when I was younger, I would collect all the like the vehicles that they would drive. And that they would morph into like bears and yeah, stuff like yeah, yeah. that. And I got the big one, like where you could just like yeah. have like the arms, the legs, the, the mm -hmm. chest and everything. Well, I took it all over to one of my mom's friend's house. And like I, I, I don't know if I forgot it in there or like if they borrowed it or whatever. But <clears throat> uh, I never got the arms back. And I was so hurt Ugh. for so long. And like it, like even to this day, I'm pretty sure my mom's friend brings up, oh yeah, Bailey, and I think I forget their son's name, but the daughter's name Bailey. Oh, they uh, they still have your bear. They're still playing with it, and I'm like, mm, that's messed up, because <laughs> <laughs> it still hurts me deep down inside because I miss it. <laughs> yeah, Sam, I think Disney bought the Power Rangers franchise back in 2001. But if I'm, I, I have no clue. Oh, 1995 was what the movie I'm talking about. I so think, I'm good. I think that somebody yeah, else is. bought the franchise back from Disney. So I don't think they're Disney right now. Hey, good picks, man. Hey. So they weren't Disney when you liked them, and they're not Disney now. So they might have been Disney for a little bit. They're not part of the MCU. But hey, they're out. Um, so my number three, I'm going to go with, uh, I think this is the guy that you're thinking of. He is part of Marvel, but he's not part of the MCU. <sighs> and it's Deadpool. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going dead. Probably the funniest. Pro probably the, okay. If he was in the if he was in the MCU, he'd be the funniest in the MCU. But he's not. Yeah. So he's not. But um, no, he's hilarious. Um, the reason that he's three for me is because I wouldn't want to have his power. Yeah, that's why I didn't put him on my list. Is because one, like he can't die, and it's kind of a weird little. It's sort of cop but he out can thing. And the new one. He he can. But the whole thing, but, but as I said, I hate when superheroes are indestructible and like you just can't kill them, which this is literally the definition of an indestructible superhero <laughs> that you can't kill. But 
he is so that knocks him down but he is so funny that it just builds him back that's why he's middle of the pack to me because he's the funniest but the my least favorite power wise it's such a weird thing when the way you kind of kill people and beat people is with pistols Mm -hmm. and swords but it's so when you're freaking super, awesome. Uh, no, it is. <laughs> but <laughs> it's just a weird thing. Like when all these other people have like lasers and yeah. x-ray vision and all mm-hmm. this stuff. and can fl- Like, I, I don't know. But he uh, just, uh, yeah, hilarious. He's got his powers. He he can't die. Um, I almost put uh, the dude from Deadpool, tw- uh, Dead- Deadpool 2 that just saw the ad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, I think I, we watched that movie together. We did. With, Re- with Actually, Reno. I had a Snapchat I'm memory sorry. come up. From he, today, he, he fell asleep. In the oh, of course yeah, he did. Of course, like it's an action movie. <laughs> you fall asleep. That uh, was so funny. No, but in the I, theaters. We watched it today, the year it came out, whatever year that was. Really, today? Snapchat memory came up Whoa. this morning. So yeah. Wow, that's kind of cool. Uh, but no, it's a great movie. Uh, both of them are great, and he's a great hero. Nice. If you want to call him a hero, I guess. Well. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, my number three is, um, I think, uh, t- technically the first girl on our list. Mm-hmm. You had the you had the all the Incredibles and there's two girls, but I put Scarlet Witch. That's a good one. She's a bad woman. She, I was, I mean, she is one of the most powerful superheroes in the MCU. The, yeah. Like, I mean, just the scene with Thanos in Endgame. Like, when she just kind of, like, goes at him, like, and is taking it to him when nobody else is, like, that's just... And I don't know if you guys watched WandaVision, but it was really cool. Mm-hmm. Interesting concept, but, I mean, it shows her true power. Um, you know, her whole thing with Vision, super cool. Um, but, I mean, yeah, I like, I like her powers, sort of. She can sort of mend things, like, with their hands. I, I don't even know how to describe it. And she's, like, so powerful that she created this whole alternate universe in in um wandavision like it, it, it's so cool and her she's so powerful and i would love to have her powers and um do the things that she can do yeah but she, yeah she, she was she's a bad woman. she's a bad woman Can't she's kill her she's not honorable mention for the sole fact that i had a reason for my honorable mentions like there's a thing before him hmm. but she is she was like number six on my list. Like she was yeah. just edged out by Star Wars. I think she's one of the people that everyone's Wait, like. If she's number six, then she'd be honorable mentions. There, but I had a reason for my honorable mentions. We'll get to it. When okay. I get to it. Huh. Yeah, she, she's one of those people that people just forget about, like how sort of powerful they are and how like they're they're what they have is so unique, in a way. Um, and like you guys said, like oh, she's super powerful, like. But people kind of forget about her, and I, mm-hmm. I, I think her powers are sick and just underappreciated on how powerful she is. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's my number three. My number two is probably the one that I grew up liking the most, and that is um, Thor Odinson. Um, I love Thor. I think he's super cool. His hammer is awesome. Um, probably in... Um, was it Infinity War when he comes down? Um, During with, with the new with, yeah, yeah. With the new and axe and, yeah. oh my gosh, like that is such a cool scene. I got chills in that movie. Yeah, watching that and I mean when I, when I had my long hair, um, there was like a group of African boys that came to our school. Um, they were like I don't know third grade or something, and they like they had like this whole dance routine and stuff, and they did it for the school. And then like we were by them at lunch, and then he looked at me and my friend Danny, who we mentioned before, and he was like you look like Thor. And he was like, you look like Loki. And like, they thought it was the coolest thing ever. Um, so that's just also a little bit um, of a thing there, but Thor's super cool. Also super funny. Um, well, in the last, uh, the last Avengers. Especially when he gets fat. Oh my it's God, so it's funny. amazing. Like that he's is playing like the, Fortnite. <laughs> he, he would have been on my list solely on that funny performance. But yeah. I, I mean, he is super sweet. Like the thought, like the hammer and mm-hmm. the long hair is mm-hmm. being a bad man. Like he's a good dude. One thing I hated was that Captain America got to pick up his hair. Yeah, that was like, <laughs> oh, come on. He's uh, worthy. I, I don't know. I, I'm not picked the, it up. And, I'm and, sort of not the biggest uh, fan of Captain America personally. Um, 
it, it was it was a cool moment, but it's like the kind of the principle of it is like it kind of makes Thor not as special. I I, I felt a hundred percent agree. I mean, I I'm a I do like Captain America. Honestly, I like all four of the Avengers, like the original Avengers. I like all four of them. Um, Captain America, like they're like almost like all unique to me for their own certain <clears throat> certain things. But yeah, I do I do agree that ca having Captain America take or being able to pick up the hammer ruins Thor just a little bit. Yeah, I get superpowers at least. Like his super like and like, and also Vision could pick it up as well. He picked it up too. Yeah. So that was also like okay, well no, it's what, not, it was, it's losing its purpose yeah, almost. Well, well, the point of the hammer is that you have to be worthy to wield it, right? So well, they have proven that they're worthy. Sure. That's, but I mean, still, it also it just diminished it, like, cause why it was it was a special thing with him, and it was cool because he was trying to pick it up throughout all the movies, but he never could. But Vision picked it up like immediately, and he never really like mm -hmm. did anything. I think that was more just to show the fact that he only had good in him. Ah, that there was makes sense. there was no evil. Because if you remember when he did pick it up, he's like trying to prove like like I could be a monster. Like you really have no way of trusting me. Mm -hmm. And then he's like. And then he's like, but I really am your only hope. And then, boom, he pulls out the hammer. He's sure. like, everyone's like, okay, I guess we can trust this guy because he just proved, you know, he's worthy. Yeah. So number one. that's uh, that's number two. Oh, I got oh, my number two. I like number two. Oh, yeah, you got, no. Uh, no I, did, I did Scarlet Witch and Thor. He did three and two. Ah, two, 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 two. Okay. I got two now. Uh, my number two, you went with one of the originals. So I'm going to go with one of the originals. I'm going to go Iron Man. I like Iron Man. Um, I mean... It, you're not a big Iron Man guy? No, I'm saying, like, I told you I like oh, all four it, Avengers. You just like, made a weird face. You made a weird face. No, I'm saying, like, it's a good pick. Like, uh, I don't disagree with you. I like him the best. Again, I like the normal, like, like he's he's got nothing special about him. It's just the suit that makes him, I mean, I guess technically he's a super genius and he's, you know, a millionaire, billionaire, trillionaire, whatever. But, like, again, he's still just a human. And he can die like that. Like, well, I, mean, I think a lot of them could just die like that. Well, technically, yeah, yeah. actually, like, most of them do. <laughs> yeah. But no, like he's he's just a human. He's just a guy like me and you, and that's why I. Uh, well, he does have a artificial heart. Technically, yeah, yeah, it just keeps his heart. But yeah, I guess you're right. But still, you could have an artificial heart. It's a good point. It won't be real. Yeah. All right. So now for my number two, and number one. They were both already mentioned. Uh, for number two, I'm going with the Incredible Hulk. Like I said earlier, yep. I'm just a huge Hulk guy. Like I mean, I just the big roid rage. That's just it's just awesome. And then I love the aspect of him being a super smart guy. But it, if you look deeper into the Hulk, like it's it's almost like everybody, every person, like it's like. How do I put this? I'm trying to... Everybody has a little hawk in that. They really do, though, because, like, there are some things that really just drive you. It, like, takes a, a real problem for somebody, and, like, it expands it into a superhero instead. Because, mm. like, there are some times when everybody just wants to blow up and be super pissed at every single thing because of some sort of way. Um, but then he also, like you said, learns how to control it, and it shows, like, the evolution of him and, like, which, like... With every other person in the world, like right. we learn how to control with our anger. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I went with the Hulk. He's definitely my favorite Avenger, but I do like them all. So they're like, it's like Hulk and then the rest of them. Like, <laughs> uh, I guess the Hulk, one other one. And then, but <clears throat> number one, I went with Deadpool. Ah, and I mm. truthfully think that I went with Deadpool because of Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> he's so I can't believe I talked about Deadpool without mentioning Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Dude, he is so funny. I, I I mean, like I took Megan to see it the first time, and then we went with to go see the second one with you. And she does not like superhero movies at all. Mm -hmm. She loves like fantasy, like vampires and stuff like that. Right. But she does not like superhero movies. She thinks they're kind of boring, lame, or whatever. But she, when we took her to see Deadpool, when I took her to see Deadpool one, and took her, we went to go see Deadpool two. We saw Deadpool two, two together. We saw that. I, I, we saw that together. Did I see it with you too? I might. I actually. I think I might have. I thought that's what you. No, we saw Incredibles two. Ah, maybe I went with Rena. Could have gone. I wouldn't be surprised. He fell. He fell asleep during I the first one. He probably had to go see a second. But I know I went with somebody. 
Uh, but but yeah, when good we, chance. Actually, now that I think about it, good chance it could have been me. I think I did I, go back to watch. I it. thought you did too. I thought you said you watched it already, but yeah, game anyways. Yeah, because it was that fun. I don't know. Well, whatever. I I like when we seen Deadpool one. She was like, "Oh my god, that's hilarious! I can't wait for see the, the next one." And like it it left her wanting more. Um, but I think Deadpool is a he's funny. I would actually love his powers. I would love to just be able to, I mean, I'm indestructible. Ain't nobody going to stop me. Right. I can do whatever I want. Mm -hmm. yeah. Guess what? Chop my arm off. I got a little baby hand. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most outrageous scene in that movie. <laughs> so when his funny. entire lower half gets <laughs> He's got cut a baby off. Lip. And it's just a baby's butt. Oh. <laughs> it's so outrageous. It's the best. Can't believe it. It really is. Best. Yeah. So I, I think Deadpool is the best superhero ever. And I think it's because he's funny and he's got an awesome power. Have you ever seen Green Lantern? I have not, but isn't he in that? Yeah, he's Green Lantern. Well, Green oh, Lantern. Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds is Green Lantern. Have you ever yeah. seen? I don't know if it's funny or not. It could be. I don't. I, I've never Possibly. seen. It. I don't think it is. I mean, I don't think it is. But have you ever seen? I don't know. One of the Wolverine movies. Have you ever seen any of the Wolverines? Yeah, X Men. You mean Logan? No, but like the yeah. Wolverine oh. with Deadpool in it. Mm -mm. But he was like. Didn't have the suit. It was Ryan Reynolds, but he didn't have the suit. He was a villain, and he didn't have a mouth. It was just weird. Oh. Not a good move. Plus, he owns a yacht in Fortnite. He does own a yacht in Fortnite. Top five video games. Yeah, he, he oh. kicked out Meowskulls. So, <laughs> no, I mean, top top one superhero. <laughs> Number one, yeah. Top, hey, hey, top five game my of all time. Best. Hey, you can't, I mean, you can't argue. Um, yeah, Deadpool, I mean, it top, I'd say top three, but you can yeah, go. Number one. All right, my number one, I'm going with, I mean, probably the most generic answer possible when you're talking about the greatest superheroes. I'm going with Spider-Man. Um, I, I mean, first and foremost, I've seen all the Spider-Man movies from the, from the uh, Tobey Maguire. Maguire to the yeah. Garfield to the Tom Holland. I think they're all great. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I love them all. Um, I think Tom Holland's probably the best. I really like Tom Holland in the MCU. But um, even on top of that, from like elementary school, like first grade, I remember sitting, waiting for, like we were in the, uh, you, when you had to wait in the gymnasium for the buses and we were sitting yeah. there in lines, I just remember sitting there looking up like, bro, if an alien busted through the <laughs> ceiling right now, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm coming at him <laughs> and I'm Spider-Man. And there's no question, if I could have any superpowers, I'd want just Spider-Man powers. Like, you get super strength, which is awesome. You get super, like, agility. But not only that, but just the swinging. I think that'd be cooler than flying, is being able to swing through buildings and then also just being able to climb walls. Like, Yeah, that is sick. I, and he looks sweet, too. And he looks sweet. Mm, yeah. He does. He looks really cool. Yeah. Like, there's a reason that he is, it's the most generic answer when you ask someone their favorite superhero, because he is the best superhero. I don't think it's the most generic. I think the most generic would be Superman. I, maybe Superman. I don't know. I disagree. Because I think the smart, like, marks, smart marks, and bring wrestling terms into it, the smart marks would say, oh, well, I don't like Superman because everybody, they think that would be the generic mm -hmm. one. So you see Spider-Man a lot. Like, every, a lot of people like Spider-Man. I would, Spider I was, I know, I agree. I would think, from what I've seen, I would think Captain America or Superman are probably the two most generic. To make sure that I didn't miss anybody, I Google top like superheroes and I found a list of like the top 100 mm -hmm. of all time. Spider-Man was number one. Every time. Every I did the same thing. I it's probably the because thing. there's the most movies. He's got a lot of movies. Probably. He's it. Um, I'm so excited for this third one to come out. Yeah. But yeah, I I, I, I mean, enjoyed He's got it. a sweet villain too in Venom. Yeah. He's got a lot of sweet villains. Oh, oh yeah, Th that one probably has the coolest villains outside of Batman. Yeah. I would say. Um, but yeah, I've enjoyed every Spider-Man movie I've ever mm -hmm. watched. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. And I'm still kind of debating on which one I think is the best. Mm -hmm. I think Mag Maguire is really good. So, I like the first one. I, I yeah, went yeah, back really and rewatched it and I like Maguire, but I think the reason that I liked it as much as I did is because it was like the first Spider-Man yeah. that I saw. It's I think it's just the nostalgia, nice, yeah. but if you watch all three of them, like back to back to back, I like, which I did actually. Tom Holland is, I think, by far the best. But yeah, that's it's that's maybe that's another yeah, maybe. that's another debate. Yeah. But um, no, I Spider Man is by far my number one. All right, my number one. 
by far. Mm. Have you seen my list? You looked. I did not know. I thought you were smirking because you saw it. Uh, My number one by far is it's kind of two technically. It's Groot and Baby Groot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Baby Groot is so cute, first of all. <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> like, what, it, I think it's the end scene or the beginning scene. The beginning of Guardians of the Galaxy Yeah, too. when they're all fighting and he's like just dancing. So cute. Um, and Groot. Great song. Oh, it's so funny. Groot is so cool even when he's big like when they're in the prison in guardians of the galaxy 2 Mm -hmm. and he's just this massive tree and all he says is group (laughs) like you don't need anything else from him but you know kind of what he's saying yeah (laughs) (laughs) like the way he's like he only says one word Mm -hmm. and you just and that's and he do it yeah yeah yeah, sorry yeah yeah. i I am um (laughs) you're right you're right um and they do it so well and a, a, like a sentient tree awesome how can you beat it i mean yeah i mean he's on my honorable mention yeah he 100 he's, he's he sweet he's fantastic oh and he's also in fortnite <laughs> <laughs> i got the gold skin for him so, <laughs> on my account so forever to groot and baby groot all right so i can't i i can't ask you your favorite hulk without asking you now your favorite Groot. Is it Groot, Baby Groot, or Teenage Groot? You got to have one Tom. No, I can't. You can't. It's got to be Baby, baby Groot. Baby Groot is because it's so cute. It's so cute. But it doesn't do much. Yeah, but he's so cute. Yeah. And then and then the scene where they're like, they got to get uh, they got to get out of the prison on the ship. And he's like, go get the thing from the drawer. And he comes back and he's just got random things every time. <laughs> oh, he's just the it, best. He is, he is the best. And he doesn't, yeah, it's it's amazing. And then the um, scene at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy 1, when he's dancing and then like Drax looks over and he stops dancing, he's like, and then he keeps dancing. Like, oh, he's just. <laughs> he's so funny. Arguably one of the funniest. <laughs> Arguably. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, that's, that's my number one and I'm sticking to it. I, I will say this cream was very hard mm-hmm. for me. Yeah. It was so hard and there's, People, like, I don't even have Deadpool in my top. Like, it, it just, I don't know. I, I redid my list so much. It's not even in my honorable mention. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, uh, like I kind of want to add this person. I don't want to add this. Uh, it was it was so hard. All right, how about you give us your three honorable mentions and then run down the rest of your list. So, my two honor- oh. so two of my honorable mentions were taken. It was Star-Lord and Jack-Jack. And then my third one, which I knew nobody was going to put on their list, controversial superhero Aquaman. Hey, honorable mention. I have Aquaman. Yeah, Jason Momoa is good. It's cool. It's animals. Roman Reigns, you mean? Yeah. You know, some people say that I look like a better looking Aquaman. Nobody no. says it. Not I've a, heard it. Not a single soul. <laughs> I've heard it. Yeah, from yourself in the mirror. <laughs> um. Yeah. No, that's why I put Aquaman on my list. I got for my honorable mentions Aquaman. Peacemaker, because it's John Cena. And he's got a movie coming out. I'm excited for that. And then Frozone. That's fair. My honorable mentions are Wolverine. Mm, Cool name. Iron Man. And Groot. (laughs) And then my, I'll just say the rest of my list so we can all get a recap in. Uh, Five, I went Obi-Wan Kenobi. Four, The Incredibles slash Dash. Three, Blue Power Ranger. Two, Hulk. And one, Deadpool. I have five Star Lord, three Ant Man, two or three. No, wait, I missed four. <laughs> five Star Lord, four Ant Man, three Deadpool, two Iron Man, one Spider Man. And I had five Beast Boy, four Incredible Hulk, three Scarlet Witch, two Thor, and one Grouped or Baby Grouped. Great, great pick. Some other people that we didn't mention um, Captain America, Captain not on a single person's people. list. Black Panther, not oh. in a single person's mm-hmm. list. Captain, or, yeah, Captain, Captain Underpants. Oh, Captain Underpants. Yeah. Underdog. Also, another um, honorable mention is all the men and women who are serving this country. The the nurses and doctors yeah. that are protecting us. On the, the people on the front, the people on the front lines. Yeah, everyone. They're my actual number one. Yeah. No, no, it's group. 
It's they're number two behind Groot. <laughs> <laughs> no, those were that was a quality. Uh, it was like you said. I dude, I did find myself changing my list a lot <clears throat> because like. I don't know, I just would remember, oh, I gotta throw him in there. Oh, oh, I gotta put it in there. Like, there was a person that I think I ranked all the way up to number three, and they just fell off my list. I forget who it was, but yeah. it might have been Captain America. I think I had him up there high, and then I started thinking, like, well, let's do some more research, and I found, like, the Incredibles. Yeah. I was like, well, there. See, that's the problem. There's so many superheroes. They're all that's awesome. Why my, the, the reason my whole top five is all Marvel. I went Marvel all the way through. That's why my that's why I didn't put whoever we were talking about earlier in my honorable mentions, Scarlet Witch, because I wanted my honorable mentions to be non-Marvel characters. Mm. Mm. Sure. I didn't think it was yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. You guys ready to transfer to the next but new set or uh, new segment we got going on for Absolutely. us? Absolutely. I'm ready. You boys better grab your oven mitts. Because this is the oven mitt. Opinion. Well, us three, <clears throat> like we said at the beginning of our introduction of the show, we're very passionate about some stupid things. Well, we're each going to give you our oven mitt opinion here today. <laughs> Who wants to start us off? These opinions are so hot, you need a oven mitt to have them. Well, let me know. That's, that's, that's where the name that, comes from. That. Yeah. Well, I can start. You want to start? Let's, Let's go. I will I absolutely Let's start this. I'm so excited. This is an opinion I've had for a very long time. For mm -hmm. Actually, my entire life. Yep. Um, and But it, it was a very hot button topic um, about a year ago, and it still kind of is. Very controversial and very relevant, which is why I wanted to bust it out for the first one. Okay. And people die on a hill for either side, but... My oven mitt opinion is that pineapples 100% belong on pizza. All right, you're the pizza man. I'm going to let you tell me what you think. You're the final 100% judge. without a doubt in my mind. They belong on pizza. Here's the thing. The mitt's coming off. I could pull that right out of the oven. I don't even need a glove. Dude, a pineapple pizza is so good. I mean, yeah, I agree. Like, I I, I, I was, I want to say no, and I want to say that you're wrong. But from Reset, my, like, where I mm -hmm. work, my favorite pizza has pineapple on it. Like, I, the Sweet Fire Pizza. I mean, it's fantastic. I, and I, I think it, I think the best part about pineapple is that it's, like, it's so unique in flavor and, like, sugary that it's, like, like you go to bite into it, like say it's on a like a, a normal marinara sauce pizza. You go to bite into it, and it's like mm. and classic Hawaiian. Yeah, it's such a such a different taste yeah, of anything exactly else you can get. So on. I, I agree. I, I know that we all agree on this, but there's a lot, there's a lot of lot, people yeah. that don't, mm -hmm. and you will get crucified <laughs> it's true. if people know that you have that opinion. That's fair. Here's here's my take on it: is wh who judges what goes on a pizza? If it can be put on a pizza 100%. and you can eat that and it tastes good, it belongs on a pizza. If you put chocolate sauce on a pizza and somehow find, found a way to make that taste good, oh. it, then chocolate sauce belongs on pizza. I completely agree with that. Like, it, Toppings are so essential for a pizza mm -hmm. to be good. I mean, yeah, you can go ahead and have like a like a cheese pizza and like it is what it is, but it's like almost like it's wasted because Gordon, you can have so fun. It's like a blank canvas. Exactly, oh. blank canvas. Gordon Ramsay did say they do not belong on pizza. Well, okay, he's wrong. So that that is what a lot of these uh, anti pineapple people say. Wrong. They use that to back their opinion, but I've always loved it. Always loved Hawaiians. So that is my oven mitt opinion. I would eat a pineapple pizza right now if I could. Um, mine's also food related. Mm. So, and f for this one, I wanted to go with one that was more, you, yours was kind of like a, like maybe not 50, 50, but a split. I've never heard someone argue for my cause, which is why I'm going to bring it to light right now. Oh gosh. I believe that if your restaurant gives out free bread or of any kind, it is a waste, and it is always overrated. Huh. 
That's wrong. It that is, is a very hot take. What do you so what do you mean by waste? It is I think I think it is um I, I guess maybe not a waste. It is just so overrated and overhyped. Like when you if you if I say the words Olive Garden, the first thing you think of are their breadsticks. If I say Texas Roadhouse, first thing you think of are their rolls. Mm -hmm. And Argu arguably the best parts of them. Like, yeah, both places. And that's what's wrong with them. What? That's what's wrong with them is, first and foremost, it's just bread. I don't care how good it is. Like, yeah, you put some butter sauce on it. It's still just bread. I'm not like... Nah. No. Yeah, that's bad. Guys. That's such a bad take. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you terrible. guys... You are, that is the worst take. I think nobody will no, ever agree. I don't, it's I, not, I also agree with that. It's not, it's never argued or brought to light until right now yeah, because nobody, it's wrong. And nobody okay. ever will ever take that. Here's like, the thing. Here's the, I'll tell you. Would you rather pay for it? No, it's not that I'd rather pay for it. It's why are they, it, I'm going to double down on it even with Mexican restaurants that give you chips and, wrong, chips and salsa. Wrong, wrong, <laughs> Listen, wrong. I knew that that would make you mad. Absolutely not. Yeah, dude, what are you doing? Yeah, you're just First oh. and foremost, first and foremost, you get the bread. You get the bread. You don't get that. Give me that. It, it, listen, you get the bread. Yeah, I need that. This is super hot. That's too hot for and me. And it right is, it, here's the thing. It's good. I'm not going to say it's not good. If I sit down at a restaurant and they hand me bread or they hand me chips and salsa, I'm going to eat it. I'm not going to say I'm not going to eat it. But it never made sense to me why they would. Because one, you're just going to stuff yourself and you're not going to fully be able to enjoy your meal later. And two, it's still just bread. And I refuse. Listen, it might taste good, but I'm not like the fact that it's so Wait, it, it's it's always overhyped. It's always overhyped. It's good. It's good, but it's not the best part of the meal. And it, everybody makes it out to be the best part of the meal. And if it is the best part of the meal, then that means that your restaurant's just really bad. I, I just I disagree because well, one, you're saying it's just bread as an argument, but then so what about chips and salsa? It's just it, chips it's and just, salsa. Okay, just chips but, and salsa. But bread is so but bread is like essential like bread is amazingly versatile as well i i love I'm saying bread. it's just okay. bread i love bread but there's no way that like it should be the best part of your meal and i guess the point i'm getting at is one it's overhyped it's not as good as people make it out to be and so the, okay two you're wrong because it's not just bread because and that and you're kind of talking about the versatility of it because you have breadsticks mm -hmm. which is bread, but different than the olive or the Texas Roadhouse rolls, which are different than the Red Lobster biscuits. Those are all bread. They're all, bread. but they're all different. What's the one like? What's the one place where you get Long the brown? Horn. Yeah, Texas uh, the brown. Long, Longhorn Steakhouse. Exactly. Yeah, there. Yeah. There's another. Oh yeah, person. you're right. Like the sourdough. Yeah, exactly. that's the one that made me think of it. it. Guys, it's. I'm not saying it's not good. I if I go to these places. Well, okay, if I go to if I go to Longhorn and I get that, that's not the main part of the meal. Oh, exactly. Red yeah. Lobster, maybe it also not the best part of the meal. I, I wouldn't say, but Texas Roadhouse is a little bit different. And that that is super good, and the Olive Garden breadsticks are also super good. And also, it's their salad, like unlimited salad, like mm -hmm. that, and, and that's great because you can take it home as well, and then you have it at home. Guess what you're going to do even if you say it's a waste because they're giving it away for free. Guess what you're still going to do when you go to these places. You're going to order get, food. You're still going to order food. It's and not. that doesn't matter. It's not it's a, probably overpriced and you're going to give them money anyways. Not a waste for the restaurant. It's exactly. a waste for your body. There's no, if I go to a restaurant, let me just eat the food that I ordered. Because what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to sit there. They're going to have the bread there. I'm already hungry. So I'm just going to eat the bread. And then I'm gonna be stuffed, and then I'm gonna get have to. Would you rather get nothing? Take half my meal. I. It's a nice gesture. You're it, terrible. It is a nice gesture, but I'm just upset. I think I think my main take here is that the bread is never as good. It's not as good as people make it out to be, and it shouldn't be the number one part of the meal. Right. You keep well, bringing this up, but you're still so wrong. Well. It's not as good as and it. And I'm going to move on. Oh, yeah. you that's know, a, that's a wanna, hot take. I want to go. go to my. We could argue. You go. Yeah. yeah, I know. Because you're just wrong. <laughs> like, mine actually is right. Okay, let me hear it. And it immediately when we came up with the segment, it came to my head. Because mm -hmm. I know both of you, you probably don't believe it. But you guys probably have never given it the light of day to actually try it. Yep. And that is Pandora is the best music streaming uh, app out there. 
Period. Point blank. Period. All right, going to our next segment. Mine doesn't sound as bad now, does it? Oh, I got a little. Oh, <laughs> hey, I got a little quick little tidbit. Mm-hmm. First off, you can generate so many different radio stations with just putting in an artist. So many different artists come up all the time. Sure. Yep. And then, like, by liking different songs, that will venture out. It's almost like like a tree. That like branches out all the way to so many different ones. I've got a Pandora station that started off Panic at the Disco. And guess who plays on it? My main girl, Halsey. All the time. I love Halsey. Halsey, so, she's a bad woman. She's my favorite. Here's the thing, Sam. Um, Pandora probably paved the way, but that's not unique. Spotify and Apple Music both do that. They both do the same thing. Oh, yeah, but when? But yeah. Pandora was first. I'll give it that. Okay. Pandora also does a great thing that <clears throat> I say, you say that Spotify and Apple Music do that, right? They do, yeah. I, you know, when you started bringing that up to my attention, I was like, oh, maybe I'll just do that for, uh, for, from now on, because I do pay for Apple Music. So I'm like, well, I'll just use that. I can have unlimited skips, whatever, right? <clears throat> well, it plays the same, like, 20 songs over and over and over and over again. It never goes, like, it ne- like just keeps recycling the same songs. Mm-hmm. You have just started using Apple Music, so it doesn't know your taste. Yet. Oh well, it hates me, and it's how long wrong. have you used Apple Music for? And uh, I've used it like for so long. So it, <laughs> I, I have. I mean, as a radio station, maybe no, I don't use. It. Okay, I've never, I've never used yeah. it because Pandora's there and it's way better. Mm-hmm. I mean, first off. Pandora, and you guys want might argue like, oh, it has advertisements, blah blah blah. You have blah. advertisements on there, yeah, and you don't they have do unlimited the same skips, thing and you have advertisements oh, okay. and not limited. The advertisements give you a little bit of like, oh, what's going on around the world? Like, what kind of ads <laughs> are coming in? And then you're like, you're sitting there, you listen to the advertisement, oh. and then you realize you had a break from music. You know, it's a nice little, it's a nice little chill. Your ears don't have to like be so ready to rock oh. and roll. Well, guess what? Then when it comes back after that 30 second ad, maybe maybe there's a minute, never know. 30 <laughs> seconds, maybe a minute. And then all of a sudden the music comes back and bam, you're like, dude, I freaking love this song. And then you listen, you're jamming out, you're nonstop for another like, you get hours at times sometimes. And, and sometimes. people also will say, people will also say, oh, you get un- don't get unlimited skips. Dude, you can skip it all you want. Guess what? Skip. Go to a different station. If you run out of skips for that station, then go back and it skips them anyways. So unlimited <laughs> skips is not a good argument. It's a terrible argument. <laughs> you have to go to it. A- Ads are awesome. They give you a break from the action. They tell you that every time. And then guess what? The action comes back and you're like, dude, I missed it so much. It's so awesome. All right. uh, many things actually, but first and foremost, um, my break from the music is when I'm driving and then I just like kind of t- zone out and then halfway through a song, I realize like, oh my gosh, I haven't fully appreciated this song. So I just go back and re-listen to it. But the fact that I can just go on my phone and say, hey, play Panic at the Disco. And now Panic at the Disco is going to play. And then I can skip as many times as I want. Or I can go to a Panic at the Disco station that's pre-made and listen to Panic at the Disco with artists that sound similar. Do you know how much variety I have on this? Let me let me just bring up the painting of this. Let me just let me just show you my station. Wait, come on. Oh. All right. Well, it, it's not coming up. Oh. I don't have any <laughs> Wi-Fi down here. But there is so much variety on my Pandora stations, and it's the best music streaming system. You guys will never prove me wrong. How much new music have you discovered on there? Oh, good oh, one? oh. Okay, that's, a good, that's probably a bad argument. Is that? I'm just I'm just All making sure. Time, so I, I I struggle to see how it's better. When it does everything that the other two do, the other two have quickly surpassed it in popularity and everything like that, and they don't have ads. Well, here's another argument that I will make. Because it plays such random, and you just actually made the argument Good. for me. So it's yeah. Apple Music. I know. You, you, they don't play as much new music as Pandora does. Pandora plays new music all the time. Sometimes the ads on Pandora are talking about new music. Hence, the first song of the week was from an ad on Pandora that I heard of. And then I listened to that song 15 times. I'd rather just have the song come up in a shuffle than... Well, I mean, you never know. What if it doesn't come up? Yeah, but also Pandora can play songs that you'll like that never come up. 
wrong. Anyway. <laughs> Pandora is the best. All right, those are our uh, oven mitt opinions. Um, let us know if they were too hot for you to handle. Logan, I like yours. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I actually like didn't... your own. I love mine. No, you, I, get, you just say <laughs> you, you, you secretly hate your own. Yeah. No, um, I, I realized how dumb it was. <laughs> That's uh, that was our oven mitt opinions uh, for this week. Yeah, baby. Um, let us know if they were too hot for you to hold. If you needed the oven mitts on some of them. I'm uh, thinking uh, they will mm. on a few. Um, so works. now we're gonna get into our NFL charcuterie, um, our weekly NFL game picks. Um, some results from last week. Um, last week we had a little bit of a shakeup. Um, <laughs> Sam, after his strong week one. Didn't do too hot. Um, yeah, dropped, he dropped. only won, only got two games right out of oh, the five. Yeah. Um, Skip, you bounced back a little bit, getting some edge. You got three. Come on. I came away with uh, four, so I was the winner of that week. So our grand total that put me at in the lead at seven, Sam at six. He's one game back, and then Skip is at four. So he's slowly inching his way back. <laughs> Listen, after a bad week one, my new goal was, I mean, obviously I want to get all five, but if I can get three plus, if I can get three, if that's, I can get over 50%. That's literally what everybody's goal is probably. Well, I'm just saying that's my goal personally. <laughs> I don't know about you, but my goal is to get over 50%. Everybody wants a winning record. Yes, exactly. Thanks. That's right. Well, okay. So our game spread, our charcuterie spread this week. Mm-hmm. Give them the cheese, baby. Give them the cheese. Uh, we're going to run through them quick. Uh, we got the Chiefs versus Titans, the Ravens versus Bengals, Colts versus Niners, Falcons versus Dolphins, and Raiders and Eagles. Yep. Um, Sam, you want to go ahead and go with your first pick? Yeah. So for the Chiefs and Titans, I am going with Patty Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. Mm. Uh, I think they're starting to figure it out a little bit better. Uh they still lost. They still don't have Clyde's edwards alaire which is kind of a big like loss without having him in the run game. Um, but Patty Mahomes, Patty Mahomes, and you really, I figured from my experiences, you never really go against him. I did it after his rookie year, and it was insane. And then he did better the next year. So I'm picking Patty and the Chiefs. I think Travis Kelsey. Tyreek Hill, Miko Hardman, they're just, it's just too much, too much for the Titans. And their defense isn't that great. That's a good pick. Um, I'm going to just preference my picks by saying one thing. This morning, I learned some new information that made me go back and change two of my picks. Mm -hmm. But Mm. made me completely go about my picks in a completely different way. And that this Sunday is National Tight End Day. So, mm. I'm just going to pick the team with the better tight end. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. And in that case, I i mean, I, this one didn't change. I went Chiefs regardless. Mm. But Travis Kelsey, one of the best tight ends, if not the best tight end in the league. Got to go with the Chiefs on this one sure. for national tight end. Well, could be good, could be bad. I went with the Titans. Um, I mean, Derrick Henry is a freak. I, did you see the stat? He had the fastest run um, for a man his size. In yeah. NFL history, like that 75 yard run, he got to like 23.5 miles an hour. Makes sense. Incredible. The dude's um, a freak. I mean, the best, the the thing I have to say about this game is yes, I'm going with Patty because I, <clears throat> the reason I think that is because of the defense. Like, I don't think the Titans are. But Derrick Henry is a freak and the Chiefs' defense is not very good. I think the Titans, I mean, Julio and AJ Brown, they also have some weapons um, and Derrick Henry, but the Chiefs' defense also isn't it's that bad, good yeah, it's so and the titans did just beat the bills so I, I think they're sort of kind of figuring it out as they should they were sort of a um like an irrelevant team or they were a disappointing team for all the weapons that they had but they're kind of getting it back and they had a big win against the bills who i think is probably the best team in the nfl so um yeah i'm picking the titans simply for the horn probably yeah. but um next game ravens versus Bengals. Um, I'm going to say it. I'm going to go with the Ravens. Um, the Bengals are looking pretty good. Well, they played the Lions. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, they're, they're teetering on a good team or not. Um, but also I, I, I saw something. Someone say, um, they said Cincinnati is ranked ahead of Ohio State and the Browns and the Bengals are kind of good. Like Ohio is just like 
completely flipped everything that like about football. Wild, wild sports. Yeah, um, but I'm going with the Ravens. Um, Lamar is doing so good. Bengals. I, I mean, I think the Ravens are a, one of the top teams. AFC Bengals. Yeah, and if or the AFC North is not. Or yeah, they're not. Not as good as we thought they'd be. Yeah, but I'm gonna go with the Ravens. I I trust Lamar. To be fair, the AFC is pretty solid. The AFC North is one of the better divisions in all of football. The Browns would be up there, except for they're all hurt. Yeah, the and entire then, Browns team wasn't they're, on they're, IR. Like, I mean, then we'd be looking at that division as it is, like, as it should be. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, yes, we talk crap about the Steelers, but they're still a solid team with good sure. def- like a good defense. They got three weapons as the receivers. Like, they're a solid team, too, yeah. especially with Najee and Ben. But the AFC North is a very strong division. Yeah. So, but I, I think they're sort of the the Bengals are the lower end of it. Uh, I just think I just think the Ravens are, are a good team. They they've got good weapons mm-hmm. and Lamar is just playing really well. What so. you got? Oh, to me. Um, here's the thing. This is one where I had actually had initially put down Bengals. I had them pick, but then I found out. National tight end day, Mark and Mark Andrews is a really good tight end. Yeah. Actually, I saw a video of him right before we came over, or I came over here, and it said, um, he said, how are you going to celebrate National Tight End Day? And he said, I'm going to go off. <laughs> and you know what? Oh, isn't, <laughs> isn't he the reason you lost? He is the reason I lost to Caden. I'm not a big fan of Mark Andrews right <laughs> now. But uh, he said, I'm going to go off, and I believe the man. I think he's going to go off, so I'm going to take the Ravens. Yeah. I'm also taking the Ravens, and I'm taking them because of what you said about the Bills. I think the Ravens are the best team in the NFL. I think Lamar is clicking on all cylinders right now. Hollywood Brown looks amazing. Like I, I think everything that they've got going is really good. Mm-hmm. I think the Ravens are a better team. Bengals look good, but Joe Burrow, is, he still hasn't proven to me that he's like a, a quarterback where he can go out there every week and you can rely on him. I think you have to rely more on Joe Mixon in that offense. I think <clears throat> I think their defense is way better than what people think they are. I just think Lamar is going to get the job done. Yeah, I'll say this right now. If the Bengals keep this a one-score game, they're a playoff team in my eyes. The ba- yeah, the Bengals are a good well, team. Well, to your point, like you said last week. It's a divisional game. It's a divisional game. game. It's a divisional so. game. But I, I also agree. I think the Ravens are really good. If the Bengals can keep this within one score – I'm going to officially put them as a wild card team. They're, they're in my team. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. The next game we got, we got the two heads over there going at it. Indianapolis Colts, Logan's favorite team, and the 49ers, Skipster's favorite team. I'll go first and let yeah, you, you two yeah, duke yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> I actually... No, you go last. Can I ask one question then? Yeah. Sure. Is Jimmy G back? Thing. That's what I heard. I also think so. Is Jimmy G back? All right, well, then I'll go last. Okay, yeah, you go last just because I have a feeling I know who you're going to take. I have a feeling I know who I'm going to take. So we'll let you. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Colts. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to go with the Colts because um, I think T.Y. Hilton's back, so I think they're uh, figuring out a little bit. Um, but more importantly, um, I sent this to you. Oh. Um, big breaking news. Um, our, so last week I prefaced I, <laughs> last week I, the backup quarterback position one of the top positions in the NFL. Mm-hmm. Well, Sam Ellinger technically wasn't the backup. He was on IR, so he wasn't technically the backup, but he was still there lingering. Well, they have officially taken Sam Ellinger off IR. He is on the fifty-three man roster, oh. and they cut Jacob Eason. The <laughs> man, so he is one hundred percent. The backup. People can say, oh, Brett Hundley. No, it's Sam Ellinger. Um, and now, and now, my point last week, the 49ers know that Sam Ellinger is that backup quarterback without <laughs> question. And, yeah. You you better hope that Niners have a good defense, but it, it would almost be better for you guys not to sack Carson Wentz. Because if he gets hurt, <laughs> Sam's coming in, and that's a big no-no. But I think you guys will because you're selfish. And so I think they're going to sack Carson Wentz. He's going to break his ankles more. Sam's going to come in, light it up. So I'm taking the Colts by 25. Wow. I'm not going to lie. Uh, do you need an oven mitt? <laughs> 
I'm a little scared of uh, Sam Ellinger. <laughs> I mean, he might be the best quarterback in the NFL. But for real, I wouldn't be surprised if he does play this Sunday. In some way, shape, or form, I think he will see the field this Sunday. Uh, I'm still going with the 49ers. I know I said we're going with the best tight ends. And George Kittle is not playing. He's on IR. But Mo Alley Cox, baby. (laughs) But... (laughs) Tight, National Tight End Day was formed by George Kittle. So, this Sunday, the spirit of Kittle is what is going to lead these Niners to victory. Him on the sidelines. Actually, I don't even know if he's traveling with the team. But still, his spirit, his essence on this National Tight End Day is going to get the 49ers a win. And to be honest, I don't think George Kittle's ever scored a touchdown on National Tight End Day. So maybe him being out just opens it up for other people to score sure. touchdowns, you know? Mm-hmm. We, we're not going to have him not score. We're going to have other people score, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm going, with, I'm going with the Niners. I mean, there's really no other. <laughs> and I, it, ain't even close. it is kind of a tough game for me to choose, to be honest, because I've seen the Colts play good, but I've also seen them play really bad. I also watched the 49ers play the first week of the NFL, play the Detroit Lions, and they let the Lions play. Like, they let the Lions make it a game. So that ultimately throws up a red flag for the 49ers. Mm. Not the not the Ravens? No. They let the Lions play. No, <laughs> the Ravens. We should have beat them. <laughs> but I... I'm actually going to go with the 49ers here. I think I'm picking them because I think of one person. I think he's just too good to stop. And that is Debo Samuel. I think Debo Samuel is an elite receiver. I think he's all over the place. He can play on the outside. He can play in the slot. And he catches everything and he just makes plays, man. He's a good, good player. That's why I asked you if Jimmy G was starting or if he's back. If he wasn't back, I would have been even more hesitant to like take them. But I'm taking the 49ers. What if I told you Debo Samuel was out? Well, I gotta go change my shit. <laughs> <laughs> um next game we got the Falcons Dolphins. Um Yeah. I'm gonna go with the Falcons. Uh I personally think that Matt Ryan is better than what he is playing like right now. Uh and they get Calvin Ridley back this year this this week. So I, I don't think Miami's defense has any shot against Matt Ryan and uh, Calvin Ridley. I think they're going to connect for two touchdowns. Watch. I think the Dolphins are the worst team in the NFL. I think they are. They've won, though. I think the team with the worst record is the worst team. If the NFL. Lions and Dolphins played this, that's, that's if the Lions and Dolphins played this Sunday on a neutral field, I would take the Lions. Wrong. If the Dolphins and Lions played this Sunday in Miami, I would take the Lions. I, I, tough. The Dolphins are the worst team in the NFL. But more importantly, guys, I don't know if you know this. This Sunday is National Tight End Day. And rookie sensation first-round draft pick Kyle Pitts <laughs> is about to go off. Did he say it in an interview? No, he hasn't yet. Oh, yeah. He hasn't yet. But, I mean, what a better – I mean, he's had – He's he's had an okay rookie season. I don't think at this point he has met the expectations of a lot of like people. Like cause he was supposed to be a game changer. I think he still will be. But what a better week to go out there and just absolutely bust through that glass ceiling than National Tight End Day as a first round rookie draft pick, Kyle Pitts. I think he's going off for maybe three touchdowns and raw. Yeah. He's three touchdowns. Well, they're going to score five then? Because I said Calvin Ridley scored two. Yeah, we'll, we'll give it. Calvin Ridley gets two. No, six. Because I think Mike Davis scores two. I have him fancy. I need him two. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. The three touchdowns. Kyle Pitts. 200 yards, maybe. He's going off. What about you? Um, so, I'm going to make this a little unique. Oh. I'm picking the Falcons. But... If Deshaun Watson goes to the Dolphins, I'll pick the Dolphins. So between now... No, no, it needs to happen now. No, if between now and this Sunday, if the Dolphins pick up Deshaun Watson, 
that's my team, but for now it's the Falcons. No, How about that's, that? That's, How about that? No. You he, make your pick now. He's like, are you really do you really think he's actually gonna make be a game changer for the Dolphins? Well, one, if he, he can't he can't even play. He can't so. even play. So what's the point of oh, okay, fine, you won't let me. I yeah. mean, he's not. It would play. be smart if you let me. Not gonna play. He's not even gonna play. He's time. not going. That's not. That's not. I. I didn't say he was gonna play. I mean, what do you think? We need to have a talk because if he can take, because there's a chance they sign him, and if he's not gonna play, he's not, not gonna make a difference. He has a trade. Well, I mean, there's a chance that they make that trade. Is what I'm saying. And he's but not going to play. He's not going to make a difference. The Dolphins are still going to be bad. I almost think we let him. Yeah. All right. <laughs> no, you guys didn't let me. <laughs> no, oh, that's, that, that's we tough. Should've, we should have. We should have. Yeah, you should have convened. Yeah. Um, I'm also picking the Falcons. Um, Dolphins are buns. What if the Falcons trade for Deshaun Watson? Then you have to root for the Dolphins. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if the Falcons get Deshaun Watson, I will change my pick to the Niners. Wait. wait, wait. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, they're just a better team. Dolphins are uh, boo boo. So. <laughs> Big old doo doos. Yeah, nothing much to say there. Um, Raiders Eagles. Um, I think I know where you're gonna go with this. Um, seeing <laughs> as you <laughs> you have a theme, um, but I am gonna give my hot take. Okay. In that tight end, you know we're going tight ends. Um, Darren Waller. Eh. Eh. Dallas Goddard. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> I'm. I'm picking the Eagles. Um, solely on gut feeling, mostly. Um, but the Raiders don't have their head coach. Let's see if they can do it. Um, and the Raiders have been really good at times. Um, so that kind of worries me. But there's other times where they're just like, they're the same old Raiders. So I'm going to go with the Eagles. Do you want to go? I think Jalen, I think Jalen Hurts <laughs> is the guy. I think we know who you're picking. You want me to go? I'll tell you what. My initial pick. I had Eagles, and even after that finding out finding out his national title, I was thinking. Pretty good. I was thinking. You know, it's I th I think Darren Waller's better or Wall whatever. I think he's better, but I like Dallas Goddard. And then it re I remembered that just last week, the Eagles traded away a tight end. What kind of disgusting organization trades away a tight end right before National Tight End Day? And for that reason, I'm all the way out on the Eagles, and I'm going all in on the Raiders. Yeah, Zach Ertz went to the Cardinals. Can you believe that? I know. I mean, it's crazy. Zach Ertz is sweet at the Eagles. I'm going with the Las Vegas Raiders because Darren Waller. Pretty good. Pretty good. He's all right. He's pretty good. I, I think Darren Waller actually is – <clears throat> the most consistent tight end in the NFL right now. I think Travis Kelsey, like right now, yeah. Travis Kelsey is very good. Awesome. Oh, oh. Not my bad, actually. You know what? Scrap <laughs> everything I just said. I'm wrong. I'm still picking the Raiders, but you're right. Dawson Knox, <laughs> best tight end there ever was. He's going to go off Dude, this Sunday. Who do the Bills play? He's got the sweetest name, and he's a tight end. Oh, they. they Whoever it is, the NFL better hope the Bills are on a bye. Dude. Because <laughs> Dawson Knox is going to put up monster numbers. I'm driving up. I'm going to the casino up in Detroit, and I'm putting so much money on Dawson Knox and the Bills for this Sunday. Yeah. We're a Dawson Knox podcast. It is a pro <laughs> Dawson Knox podcast. The Dawson, Dawson if you're listening to this, we'd love to have you on. Actually, we just love you. Yeah, I mean, true. we want you to come hang out with us, but we, we love you. We just love you. What a, what a guy. What again? All right, yeah. So my picks: I'm going Chiefs, Ravens, Niners, Falcons, Raiders. Oh, are you going to the same thing? For my picks, I'm going Chiefs, Ravens, Niners, Falcons, Raiders. This could be, <laughs> this really, could be good. really good for me. <laughs> but it could be really bad for you too, though. Listen, when we go five, I mean, we, oh. we have we have differences. So, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going the Titans, Ravens, Colts. Falcons and Eagles. So if you guys go five and zero, oh, I'll go two and three. That'd be huge, huge, for huge the, yeah. for us. Yeah. I need to do something different. To be skip you, <laughs> pass you over. Um, hey, wouldn't wouldn't that be a sweet song if you guys uh, 
You guys went 5-0, both yeah, of you. Sweet song. It'd be beautiful, actually. You know what? We're rooting together. We're on a team this week. Well, speaking of songs, <laughs> oh, wow, what <laughs> yeah, we're going to close the show <laughs> with a song of the week. Um, Skip, why don't you go ahead and start? Show us your song of the week. Song you're oh, listening you to. Me to start. Okay. Um, okay. We. What time is it right now? 12.31. 12.31. So, it is the morning. Okay, cool. So, it is the morning. Technically. Uh, it is late October. We're just not in San Antonio. But I'm still going with my favorite song this week. Uh, Every Girl by the Turnpike Troubadours. I'm even wearing a... That's why I wear the shirt. I'm wearing the shirt. Um, I'm wearing the shirt, too. Wow. <laughs> I'm a big fan. Uh, definitely not my favorite Turnpike Troubadours song. Top five for sure, but not number one. Uh, but it's all I've been listening to this week. So I'm gonna that's what the point of the game is. I've honestly never I've ever heard of them. Me Turn neither. Back I mean I could imagine you probably haven't. Why? The country? Yeah, they're a country band. Oh. Yep. What you got for us? Um, so like we mentioned before at the beginning of the show, I went to South Carolina, Oop. see my girlfriend, and we went to a concert together, our Oop. first concert together. And it was a band that I really enjoy and I've really um grown to like. And um, that's Need to Breathe. Um, have you ever heard of them? Mm, but I'm intrigued. They are, and they have quoted themselves by this, um, they are the biggest band that nobody's heard of. They have multiple Grammy nominations, um, multi-million dollar records sold, multiple albums, um, and no one heard, no one's heard of them. And they're really good. Um, went to, I, I knew I would enjoy it, but the show was awesome. Um, I would recommend to anybody to listen to this band. They're like Southern Rock. Kind of, um, but one of the best songs that, and, and it's super cool. They're coming out of the documentary, and it's gonna be where we're at. But what they did, they're re releasing a new album. They wrote it in three weeks, um, and what they did is they all, all four of them, five of them, lived in a house together and just wrote an album in three weeks. And it's super cool. Uh, but my song is called Banks. Um, that's the one you know. That's the one you play all the time. Yeah, um, I, I think it's the best song that they have. It's not their most popular, but I think it's it's so good. Um, and I would recommend this band to anybody. You can find anything that you like from them, and they're they're very very good songs. That's a good song. It's a good song. It's a great song. I've li I I will um, admit I've listened to it uh, without you guys around. I have I've have I've turned it on. Ooh. Yeah. I need to listen to them. I I it. You really should. They're so good. So, <clears throat> this song. Came on my Pandora station. Yes, <laughs> it came on and it like, it lit me up. It made me want to grab my phone, pull out Snapchat, and just sing to the camera. You did that. And it goes by two people. It's a duet. They're two freaking awesome people. Camila Cabela and MGK. And we're talking about a little bit of bad things. I... That came, the song came on and I cannot stop listening to it and it brought back so much nostalgia and I just, I felt like it needed its own spot. I needed to talk about it, you know, like I, so good. And then you can karaoke it too. Mm -hmm. yeah, what you have. I have. I've been there for that. <laughs> I've done that. I hate that song. You are a hater of good things. <laughs> like bread. Yeah. Bread sucks. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. Are we ready? Ready, <sighs> ready, rock and roll. Oh, me. Warm them up. Warm them up. Well, before we do that, you you do thank this. Thank you guys for listening. Yeah, yeah, you guys get ready. Yeah, we're warming them up. We gotta yeah, get... yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching if you're on YouTube. And if you're on YouTube, um, go ahead and like and subscribe. It would really help us out. Um, follow us on um, our social medias at Spoon Snatchers. Um, yeah, if you're listening on um, Spotify or Apple Podcasts, um, also feel free to check it out. Uh, check us out on YouTube. Um, and... You know, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Um, let us know in the comments um, sort of what you think about our songs, our picks, um, all of that, and our hot takes. Do you like One, bread? Yeah, just don't listen to him. Relevant. <laughs> One last thing. We still have to come up with a punishment for the NFL charcuterie. So we would love to hear your guys' opinion. Uh, comment on our video. Uh, DM us on Instagram or Twitter. Let us know what you think our punishment be should be for the two losers or one loser. Yeah, I don't think it should be something too bad. I think it should be like a <laughs> middle of the road punishment. Like just something oh, like yeah. fun. Come up with the best, baby. All right, we'll see you next week. Peace. Oh, that was awesome. Yes. Nice.